Hello all and welcome. I am the practical philosopher who also goes by the name of the MGTOW philosopher because I am MGTOW. On this video, Tucker Carlson takes on an illegal alien who has some of the most ridiculous and funniest things to say I've ever heard just because of how nonsensical he is. At Tucker Carlson schools this guy like nobody else could. It's hilarious. And I found myself shouting at the screen at the idiocy of the things that the illegal alien was saying. So <laughs> I knew I just had to share this uh, with all of you as well as my opinions on the idiocy that this uh, illegal alien was spouting. So let's get right to it, shall we? When the left turn violent? Uh... Always, if we go back to Berkeley in the 60s, you had to have the National Guard come in, for God's sakes, and start shooting at people because they were so violent. Uh, so the left has always been violent. You know, ever since the uh, uh, members of that goddamn Frankfurt School came into America and set up shop at uh, Columbia University and started uh, converting... Uh, 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 future professors uh, to their uh, commie, pinko, socialist agenda. That's when. So a very long time. Historically, May Day, which was yesterday, has been a day for labor activism. Yesterday, though, the American left decided somehow to make it about illegal immigration, which I... Yes. Yes. They had to bring up one of their leftist issues. Anytime that there's some kind of mainstream, traditional platform in America where somebody is going out to hold some kind of demonstration, they will go to try and co-opt it. Just like they co-opt language, now they want to co-opt any kind of demonstration that has to do with our traditional culture because these leftist nut jobs, these convenient, useful idiots of the socialist morons that think socialism would be great for the world, the globalists, they want to deconstruct society. And how best to do that with the useful idiots, these people? Ironically, lowers the wages of American workers. Right. There's also quite a bit of violence. Take a look at this. Now look at all those people wearing hoodies and, and masks. They're all part of the same political movement, Antifa, which is a terrorist organization. And this is one of their uh, tactical moves where they all dress the same so that when they commit violence, they can blend back into their own crowd and nobody can spot them. Very premeditated, very clever. Typical thing you would see from a terrorist group. Multiple arrests meanwhile in Berkeley, California. All of this raises the question, why are we some on the political left so readily embracing violence? Because that's what they do. That's what they are. They're leftists. They don't have an actual argument, so it's their job to shut you up. And the only way they can do that is with violence. In the early days of the Obama administration, there were plenty of Tea Party protests. People dressed in tricorn hats. And none of those ever turned into a riot. But that's because they're not leftists. To say Antonio Vargas is an illegal immigrant, he's also the CEO and founder of Define American. <laughs> That's so hilarious. CEO, founder, illegal immigrant. First of all, an immigrant is somebody that moves legally to a country for the purpose of work, to live there, to perhaps make it his home one day. He has a visa. He has legal permission from the country to be there. He's not an immigrant. He's an alien, and by the way, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> oh my God, he's a CEO of some group, a, a Define American. I can define American. It's somebody that is an American. 
He's not an American, so I can clearly define him as not an American. A pro-illegal immigrant organization, and he joins us now on the set. Jose, why the violence? All of us can understand a disagreement over policy, but this is not a fight between left and right. This is the left setting fire, breaking things. Well, first of all, I... I am neither from the left nor the right. I like I don't know if you talk to all those people who are protesting and ask them if all of them are from the left. I don't really know what that means. Well, they were people. <laughs> what is this guy been living under a rock for the past 20 years? What, he doesn't know what the left means. I didn't talk to all those people. I don't know if all of them are leftists. They're all just wearing masks and hoodies and they're all dressed in black and they're all chanting death to Trump and let the illegals in and we need a global government. We need open borders. He doesn't know that that means leftist? What is this guy, a moron? People shouting pro-illegal immigration slogans and then setting things on fire. Yes, they're pro-left. That's correct. I know, many, I know many conservatives and Republicans who believe for immigration reform, for example. For sure. We're not talking about it. None of that. Yeah, yeah. They want cheap labor. But those are the rich people. They're not the gullible suckers down at the bottom like these dumb college students are going out burning shit. They just want cheap uh, uh, gardeners and uh, pool boys. That is absolutely the criminals. None of them were on the street yesterday in Portland. How or in Paris or in Berkeley. <laughs> Stupidest argument I've ever heard. It's like saying, oh, I've never seen a dinosaur walk around, so uh, there were no dinosaurs. It's, it's, they don't exist. They didn't exist because I've never seen one. <laughs> we, we don't need to see a dinosaur to know they existed. We have evidence, just like we have evidence to identify these people for what they are based on evidence we already have. We'll talk to every one of them. But the ones shouting left-wing slogans are left-wing. And it's of a piece of what we've seen for the past five months where almost all of the political violence, and there's been a lot of it, has been perpetrated by the left in the name of the fight against fascism. And like, what is the justification for this? Well, first of all, I really take offense to the very simplistic left and right way that you're framing this. I mean, it's... Oh, he takes offense at the very simplistic left right-wing way that Tucker is framing this. Yes. Yeah. Wh wh I wonder why that is. Because he just wants to muddy the waters and throw out there that, oh, well, there were some conservatives out there running around with baseball bats and wearing face masks mixed within the huge group of black-clad uh, 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 jack-booted thugs that were running around hitting people with bats and, and burning shit. Yeah, I'm sure there were a lot of conservatives out there in this uh, huge leftist group which seemed to have their own tactics and way of going about doing things as a collective. Hmm. But there were conservatives there too. Yeah. Okay. It's your universe and Fox News, but it doesn't suit reality. Um, second of all, well, first of all, <laughs> it suits reality just Fine. They were all leftists. Yes, I can confidently say that. All those people running around with masks and hoodies and hiding their face were leftists. It's, uh, it is reality. These, what you're just watching on the screen were not people who voted for Trump. They're people who believed in Trump because they were screaming anti-Trump slogans. That's why. <laughs> he owned your ass, Pablo. <laughs> Look, I'm not accusing anyone who's against Trump. I'm merely saying that a subset of the American left is using violence in pursuit of their political aims, and nobody is saying anything about it. They're getting away with it, and people like you, who should be denouncing it, aren't. And that's now the point of view. Well, first of all, I did not participate in any of the protests. My protest yesterday was as an undocumented immigrant in this country. When I left. Right. So why are you still here? The million who are viewed as criminals. Eleven million. Gee, it's interesting how that number's been 11 million since 1960. Don't you think it's gotten higher since then? Nobody's counted since the 1960s, early 1960s. It's like 30 or 40 million by now. Those are conservative estimates, okay? But 11 million? No. My own way of protesting was just actually very quietly and respectfully thinking about what it means to be an immigrant in that Trump era, right? <laughs> you moron, that's not a protest. <laughs> that's sitting on your porch drinking lemonade. <laughs> what an idiot. So that, that, that was my way. Okay, well, thank you for not breaking anything. I'm not, I'm not accusing you of setting fires. I'm really saying, like, where, where are people who agree with these folks 
standing up and saying, you're not allowed to do, you can't block traffic, you can't break things, you can't set fires, it's pretty simple. Uh, well, uh, those people are the ones in power, and the people in power right now are overwhelmingly, especially on a local governmental level, Liberals, meaning leftist nut jobs that came out of the 60s with their peace and love hippie crap, and they learned all this crap from the Frankfurt School. If you don't know what the Frankfurt School is, uh, do a Google search. First of all, I cannot speak for all those people and why they did what they did. What I can tell you is that for many of us, this issue is not just quote unquote political, it's personal. We're talking about millions of people who are related to undocumented people that you call criminal illegals every day. Right. So, so they, they, it's, it's not. It's not for me. I mean, I remember. What, 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 what should I call people who are here illegally? Should I pretend they're not here illegally? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Owned you again, pal. Look, you asked me to come on your show pretty much once a week, and I come here as an undocumented person. I'm privileged. You may be overstating a little bit. I think this is the third. Yeah, but, but but here's the point. I, here, I use the point. I am here illegally. I am here illegally talking to you as an undocumented, an authorized person who doesn't have authorization. But I, as a person, am not illegal. But well, what does that mean? You're not illegal as a person. See, I love this argument now. So he goes right to the humanitarian, uh, liberal argument. That I'm a human being. There's nothing illegal about me. I live on Earth, and the whole Earth is should be free. We should all be free to live wherever we want, and we should all have all limitless money and limitless food and uh, candy cane rainbows and gumdrop waterfalls. Whatever the hell he's talking about is not reality. You are illegal. You're a human being who happens to be here illegally. If you don't like that tag, go back to Mexico, get a visa, and then come in the country legally. And then you won't be illegal. But until you do that, you are illegal. And if you don't like that fact, that's too bad, Pablo, because that's what you are. Semantics aside. Okay, so I robbed the liquor store yesterday, which is illegal, but I'm not illegal. I don't even know what the point you're, you're making. <laughs> uh, owned again, buddy. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm saying your status is in violation of the law. By the way, I did that. I came out voluntarily. So what? Well, that makes you some kind of courageous guy? You just knew you wouldn't get arrested. I mean, by the way, yeah, that, you might actually get deported now, considering that uh, you just went on TV and Trump now knows who you are. You dummy. Six years ago. Right. Just so we can... Uh, well, you come out... Yeah, ah, yeah, well, that's why. Because six years ago, when Obama was still president and said, everybody can come on in, you said, oh, well, it's safe for me to come out of the closet now because I know I won't get deported. Well, you might get deported now, buddy. I hope you do. And actually tell the truth about this issue. What truth? Your truth? This guy is a socialist leftist nut job. He believes that no country should have any borders. Except for his country, of course, because I think he would object very much if I wanted to go and live in Mexico illegally. Right? Like to tell the truth and have facts. And to me, I have to say, and kind of the way you're framing this whole conversation right now, it's consistent with thinking of the left or of immigrants as some sort of violent people, when the reality is... Uh... You are violent people if we look at our prisons. Counts have been done. The overwhelming number are Latino. Amazing, considering how few of you there are. Like immigrants in this country actually commit undocumented immigrants specifically, commit less crime than native born. Okay, actually, that's a lie. I've looked at the research on this, and what he's quoting is a misrepresentation. This is more of what is called uh, fake news. What he's saying is true, but he's misrepresenting the fact by not telling you everything that this is only a, 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 a basically a, a gross number of crimes. Like basically, he's only talking about all the illegals in America, which is like say 10% of the population. There's between 30 and 40 million of them, and we have 330 million Americans in this country, and about 30, 40 million illegal aliens. So if you take 10% of that number, 10% of 330 million, that's a very small group compared to the other 90%. So what he's taking is the total number of crimes committed by that group of 10%, and then comparing it to the total number of crimes committed by the other 90%. And when you do that, 
Of course, you get a number from the 10% that is lower than the 90%. You moron, you. What I was doing was rolling tape from yesterday. Just bring it back to reality, if I could. And pardon my interruption just a little bit. This happened yesterday. Yes. People stood in the street, blocked traffic, committed acts of violence in the name of a specific political point of view. I'm not saying all leftists are violent. I'm not saying all legal aliens are violent. I'm saying the people on the screen were, and you don't see members of Congress, you don't see mayors of cities, you don't see governors who agree with their politics saying you can't do this. We're tolerating this stuff, and it's ripping the country in half. That's the point. What is that Martin Luther King quote about riot being the voice of the unheard? Right. Like many of those people who are rioting, and again, I can't speak for all of them, but I know for a fact personally that many people who actually participated peacefully were just there to participate, to have a voice, to say that my parents are not criminals. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, they're, they're irrelevant. Voice of the unheard. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, this just, they just want to have an audience. And some rioters are rioters who want to go out and kill people and break shit. You moron, you. Please stop terrorizing us. Please keep trying. Please stop trying to What you're doing is the... Uh, terrorizing you? you? You're not a victim, you idiot. If you don't like it, go back to your home country. Nobody held a gun to your head and made you come to America. Nobody said, you must go to America or we will kill you. Who said that? Huh, Pablo? Nobody said that. Who told you that you had the right to go somewhere and you're not there legally, you're a criminal, essentially, but the police should not bother you and nobody should bother you. That's terrorism. It's not terrorism to go out and wear black masks and uh, represent your people by breaking shit and beating people up and burning stuff down. That's not terrorism, but the police wanting to deport illegal aliens, that's terrorism. Uh-huh. Next. Building a straw man, I in no way am criticizing people who have a legitimate disagreement and want to voice it. I do that on this show every night. Mm -hmm. I'm merely saying that when you block traffic, when you break things, when you commit acts of violence against other people, the rest of us as a society need to stop you from doing that where things fall apart. What you appear to be doing is justifying their behavior. I, I'm not justifying anybody's behavior. All I'm telling you is, again, I can't speak for them. I, I can't speak for white people. They... You seem to be speaking for your people. That's what you seem to be speaking for the leftists. He, he can't speak for white people, he said. He can say, yeah, I'm sure everybody out there who is against you as a white person, yeah. Did you notice that pretty much almost all of those Antifa nut jobs are all white? Let me tell you, this is, this is really a time of terror and just fear in a lot of people. She's white. Did you notice that? She's for you. She's one of the leftist nut jobs who thinks that, hey, we should just open the borders and let everybody walk on in and eh, whatever consequences happen, I don't mind because my mommy and daddy are rich and they're giving me a privileged life, so I've never worked a real job in my whole goddamn life, so I don't know what the consequences might be. So, God. Right. And people want to be heard. Yeah, I think that's, that's true. And you know who else wants to be heard but who doesn't yeah. really get a regular hearing? Is American citizens who were born here, who see their country changing and becoming really chaotic. Bingo! Yeah. Everybody else who isn't a total nut job leftist that it doesn't run around scaring the shit out of everybody so they'll be quiet doesn't get heard. Only wackos like this girl, who's so proud of her cause, by the way, that she's wearing a mask, get to be heard. And they don't have a voice in who comes here. And your argument appears to be they have no right to say who comes here. I'm saying, you just got... The Bill O'Reilly slot representing those people. I mean, people like that. Well, that would be the majority of Americans who are born here, and I think they have a right to say who comes here. That's I think that's what I'm disagreeing with. Consequently, that is the point of view of Mexicans in Mexico, where it is a felony to enter illegally, and they will throw you in jail and throw away the key. It's not. We agree with that, really. Because you're here. You agree with that, but you're the president of an organization that advocates for open borders. Amazing how your tune seems to change depending on the situation you're in and the questions you're being asked. You're illegally, and you're basically saying, I dare you to do something about it. No, I am here illegally voluntarily coming out and saying, how do you define American? That's very easy to do, buddy. You got a green card. You got a birth certificate. <laughs> you, you're an American. 
You don't have those things. You're not an American. Understand now? How do we fix this problem? Kick you out, close the border, and then let people in through a legal process. How do we live with the fact that undocumented workers in this country are? They're not undocumented workers, buddy. They're illegal aliens. They're not here legally. They're not allowed to legally work. They're not undocumented, as if they somehow lost their documents. Where are my documents? Where is my visa? But no, they have nothing. They never had any documents to begin with. They never had any legitimacy to begin with. Stop trying to give them legit legitimacy by saying they're undocumented. They're illegal. There were never any documents to begin with, okay? We brought you a little gift. It's from the BuyAmerican.com. It's our fact sheet. It has six facts. I know that you're, you know, like, these are independently sourced journalistic facts about undocumented people in this country and why they're here, right? The taxes they pay, Social Security. If you talk to the Social Security Administration here in Washington, D.C., actually, the, the chief actuary of the Social Security Administration said that undocumented workers have contributed $100 billion into the Social Security. I got Over what time period, buddy? Very familiar with these statistics. Some of them are true and some of them aren't. But here's the, here's the fact that I want to bring us back to yes. which is don't American citizens have the right to determine who comes here yes. and who does it? Of course they do. But is it your job advocating for open borders? How can you control who comes in if you have open borders? Uh, you're contradicting yourself now, pal. You're an illegal alien, and you're lecturing me about your right to be here. Wait a little bit. You're throwing this in my face and saying, you should like this. You should like this. I just, I did not, as a journalist. Ah, yes. Try to appeal to him as a journalist. Just try to manipulate him a little, why don't you? I don't think that's going to work on Tucker Carlson, buddy. I am. And I'm a Pulitzer to show for you. He's a journalist? My ass, he is Pulitzer surprise. Ah, geez, it has no meaning anymore. Just like the Nobel Peace Prize has zero meaning when, since they gave it to Obama for doing absolutely nothing. Very impressive. Uh, right, right. Those are facts. They're independently verifiable facts. <laughs> I can independently verify anything. That doesn't make it true. <laughs> you can independently verify lies as well. And as we've already seen from you, you can take something that is true, but present it in a way that, oh, yeah, it's true, but it's not true. Like, for example, uh, your nonsense from earlier. And I did not throw them at you. Look, look at all, I'm, all I'm doing is trying to provide. I actually, look, if I did not want to have a conversation about this, as uncomfortable as this, I would have just kept in the closet and didn't tell anybody that I was here illegally. Okay, okay. I, I feel I'm grateful you're here. I'm willing to believe I like immigrants. And I'm willing to believe that some of these are probably true statistics, but I like immigrants too. I like legal immigrants, but I don't like illegal aliens. Next. Doesn't change the fact that American citizens have the right to determine who comes here, and people who are here illegally have no right. No, you don't agree with that. demand. We agree that we keep. This is something leftists like to do. Uh, they like to play the little hide the ball game, you know. They'll show you the boy the ball is when it's convenient for them, and then you hand over the money, and suddenly the ball is not under any one of those three little cups. So it's just like that. Yeah, they'll show you the ball, they'll tell you what you want to hear when it's convenient, okay? But when push comes to shove, their actions speak louder than their words. He is most certainly not for Americans having control over who comes into their country. No way, no how. He's the president of an organization that advocates open borders. Them here. You don't agree with that. Would you say that illegal aliens somehow ought to have a political voice? And my position is that being illegal here puts you by definition inside the political process. Millions of these quote unquote illegal aliens are not from Mars. <laughs> what a moron, you stupid idiot. Are you aware that English words can have different meanings depending on the context of the situation and how you're using them? You bonehead! He doesn't seem to know that in that situation there's a different use. Alien meaning somebody who is not a citizen of that country. 
Uh, he likes to, you know, he wants to use it to kind of like say, hey, oh, you're saying that I'm some kind of inhuman person. He's using what is called a shaming tactic here to win his argument. Typical of a leftist, but he says, I'm not a leftist. Yeah. To U.S. citizens. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. So are you going to tell those U.S. citizens then? Right now, U.S. U.S. citizen children are foster care because both parents have gotten deported. Yes. Right. So are you telling them that they? They could always take their kids back to Mexico with them. You know why they don't do that? Because they want to have that kid in America as an anchor, so they can somehow work the process to get back into the country. Like I said, they don't have to leave that kid there, do they? No. In fact, that says something very bad about those parents. Not something very good. That these people would leave their kids in the American foster care system? Good God! And what I am saying is that the people... Right, now he's trying to blame... I love how this guy... He, bl he is blaming Americans now for people getting deported. Oh, yeah. You made us come to this country, and then we got caught, and we got deported after my wife dumped out a kid, and then the kid is now an American, and we're going to leave the kid here voluntarily to grow up in the American welfare system, which is a travesty, and it's a 50-50 chance this kid will get sexually abused in some way, or just, you know, maltreated in some way. But hey, you know, what do we care? This kid's a tool for us. We'll just go back to Mexico, and we'll leave him here, and, you know, we'll sneak back in sometime later on and uh, snatch the the kid back yeah. The, <laughs> yeah but but that's americans fault that's not the illegal aliens fault oh no who live here and control our government which is the citizens of the united states have a right to make the determination yes absolutely i agree with that and here's my second question yeah what is the level of immigration appropriate for this country what is best for this country we have 1.1 million coming in legally every year we have some green 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 unknown number of immigrants here living illegally we don't know the number well, people say 11 million, right? Say <laughs> yeah, and lots of people say Bigfoot is real, too. Oh, we don't believe that shit, either. It's not 11 million, you idiot. Anybody who does the research knows that the government stopped counting back in the 1960s when they passed all those horrible laws that just opened up the floodgates and let the people in, and they never closed them to allow assimilation. So we don't actually know. He likes that 11 million number because it doesn't scare the shit out of Americans. If Americans knew the real number... They would shit in their pants, and they would demand some kind of action. It ain't 11 million, I'll tell you that. That law center that he quoted is a, a left-wing extremist group, and everybody knows it. Factual reports. So some left-wing nut job group that gives itself a, a fancy sounding name makes a claim that is, by the way, an opinion claim. There's no evidence for that, what they've said. And so, oh, oh well, gee, oh, that's a fact because this left-wing group made the claim. Uh, yeah, that's absurd. Tucker's right. That's nonsense, buddy. The simple Well, this is a perfect example of affirmative action. Uh, th th this guy uh, got his Pulitzer Prize on a quota system. Give me a break. Have you listened to this guy talk? He's about as articulate as a Dalmatian. Uh, dogs are more articulate than this guy. He is the worst public speaker I've ever heard. And if his writing is anywhere near the level of his ability to articulate his thoughts... He won the Pulitzer Prize basically because he's a Latino. Let's be honest, huh? They had to give it eventually to a Latino, yeah, to, to justify, to uh, make themselves feel better. Yeah, I'm a white man, I feel guilty. Uh, let's give the Pulitzer Prize to this guy. He's a Latino guy and he writes reasonably well. It'll look good on our resume. Well, is it a million? For example, we issue about a hundred a million green cards. I, I just said is that. that so, no, well, that's my question to you since you do this for a living. I ask this question almost every night of people, and they haven't thought it through, or they're not willing to reveal what they really think. I'm asking you now, what's the number, since you do it for a living, that we ought to be admitting into the country? For me, before we figure that out, we have to ask harder, harder questions of ourselves. <laughs> oh, we don't, you idiot. <laughs> you have to determine some kind of uh, uh, number... Before you do anything else, you can't just continue to let people in ad finitum until the country is bursting at the seams. That's the first question you have to answer, you pinhead. 
But let me get back. Let me, let me ask you. You don't have an answer. Number. No, I have an answer. There, my mother right now is on a 12-year waiting list to get a green card to America. Why doesn't she just walk across the border, idiot, just like you did? The one million, as you said, one million green cards issued a year. Is that enough? There, for example, companies in Silicon Valley that don't know that are green. You're basically arguing against our immigration policy, but you're not suggesting what it ought to be. This is what leftists do. This is from the Frankfurt School, people. It's called critical theory. And essentially what critical theory is, is just to criticize, criticize, criticize everything about your opponent, their character, their ideology, and you just criticize, and you keep repeating, repeating, repeating the criticisms, and you don't actually offer any alternatives, because then you could be held to, held to task, and then you could be criticized. So you just criticize them, and eventually uh, it has the effect of, oh, I don't, getting other people to not accept the other person's point of view. It's actually very effective. You have an uncomfortable conversation with you. You make it more uncomfortable by answering a very simple question. But he can't answer the question, Tucker. He's using critical theory on you, okay? Where he just criticizes, criticizes, criticizes. And if you're a, a potted plant moron leftist, you're going to be drawn to his way of seeing things. Because, oh... His criticisms, his Chris, 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 criticizing, you know, it, uh, you know, it works. It's a very good tool of the left. But just, first of all, it's not a simple, simple question. question. Yes, it is a simple question. This is more of the uh, Frankfurt School when asked, when challenged on your criticisms, just evade, say it's more complex, it's not simple, and thereby you don't answer the question at all. Okay. It's not a simple question, Tucker. Okay. I'm going to give you some, we're unfortunately out of time. I'm going to give you some time to think about this, and I want you to well, back on the actual number. And, okay? and for people watching, if you want to go to the Define American Film Festival, and right. we'll okay. sell, sell the product, and then we're going to go. But, come back and, but, but I want you to think about it. <laughs> yes, it is a product. <laughs> You're here to make money, pal. You're here to sell your crappy ideas and your crappy product. About it, please, because, because it's a real question. Well, I have, I have more, but it, it doesn't okay. fit. The, it doesn't fit kind of this. I'll give you eight minutes Actually, just to tell me the number. Oh, and we're out of time. Eight minutes, great. Let's say thank you. When the left 